catch this? Yeah. That's good. Okay. I've reversed it now. I've reversed the poles. It was okay. Somebody brought it in. All right, now turn it around backwards. No, turn the thing, turn the whole box towards me. The other way. You can see the whole thing. Now put it in and let it go. That's backwards. I reversed the poles. Okay, now let's get a view from the other side. Frontwards, you mean? No, no, the other oh, way. This way? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, take my thumb back so it does not, I won't push it. Oh, okay, we're real good. Go ahead and do that again. Let go of it. See, when I do it from the side, I can't feel how straight it is. I'll pull it. Okay. Yeah, that's good. You want to get that? And I'll show it again. It's taken apart. These are just tracks. That's all there is to it. Okay, show it again. Now, how do you do that? Huh? Put your hand down there and let it go again. Just so I don't push it. You well, know. you know, Bob is and I can't find it. And I draw my hand away quickly so they can tell it and push it. That's good. Perfect. One more time now. Okay. Want to do it from the side from there? Well, I can't. And I don't see it in the back unless he's got it in the machines, and I don't want to touch anything in the machines. Okay, that ought to do it. Okay. I reverse it, see, and it'll stay there. There's a special alignment of poles. Water flow uphill, at least in the lab. The researchers from Dow Corning and Harvard University applied a water repellent chemical to a silicon chip. Then they tilted the chip so that the chemical layer was thicker at the bottom, which made the water move uphill, as you see. The researchers are hoping to find some practical use for that discovery. Coming up in Dollars and Cents News, a proposal to help parents pay private school tuition. And later, a tribute to a musical legend.